Hey guys, this is System, and this is FTB Stoblock 3. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm myself, fantastic one. So let's go ahead and uh, push back this back and uh, make some progress, right? So in between episodes, I have not done too much. I just cleaned up our area a little bit. Got us a little bit of uh, industrial hemp here. Went ahead and uh, replaced their entire, all out those moss blocks with grass blocks. So we start getting uh, passive mobs here. Got a couple cows and uh, one chicken thus far. And, uh, that is pretty good there. Outside of that, not really much, except for a little cleaning up of our area. And uh, I guess a little processing. Got us a little dust, a little bit of sand. And I think I got gravel here somewhere. Yeah, I got some gravel here as well. So that is uh, pretty much where we're at, right? So we look at the quest book here. Actually, we got some quests to uh, accept here. We got ourselves a sacrificial knife, a battery, a compacting door. That's actually really good. Uh, we'll probably use that right away. A garden glow. We could definitely use that later. Crafter from our tools. A uh, book from Engineer's Decor, weird one for a reward, and, a, and another set of uh, honey cakes there. So, not too bad on the rewards there. I actually really like those honey cakes. They were really good when I was doing the, uh, what was I doing there? The milling, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and drop that off. Gave me three garden cloches, dude. That's amazing. I go ahead and use one of these right away, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, break that right there. Hopefully, there you go. Go ahead and pop that in there. And now that should uh, start getting, hopefully, you, you gonna work? <laughs> doesn't seem like it's working right now. Why would that not work with a compacted drawer? Maybe I need to uh, filter it first. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Now it's working magically. That was weird. Anyway, it's uh, definitely going to work now. It looks like it's, yeah, it's, it is going up. Apparently it needed to be uh, just filtered first. But I go ahead and get all of our actual cobblestone in there. And I will actually uh, compress it down to cobblestone uh, times two for us automatically. I don't have to do that anymore. So... That's actually a pretty good little reward there. So anyway, let's go ahead and drop that off. What I want to go ahead and do, let's look at our quest book here. Actually, I want to go ahead and accept this. Got myself a bundle. Those bundles, what are they from? Aren't they... Are they Corral Tombstone? Can't remember. I'm not even sure how to use these things. There was another package. You could wear them as curios. I didn't understand how they worked. And I just went ahead and put them in the chest. So I'm going to do the same thing. So if someone knows how those work, just let me know. Because I have no clue how those bundles work. Anyway, let's go ahead and drop them off. So what I want to go ahead and do here, let's go ahead and start working on our case fan setups, right? So the case fan uses a rotational force to create air uh, current, right? And the air current passes through certain blocks like water and lava. The air current can be used as a crafting mechanic, right? So in this one, we're going to be using it for three mechanics. It's going to be bulk haunting, washing, and the blast. Just It's like smelting. Blasting is just smelting. That's all you have to think of there. But we're going to be using that to get us a bunch of other resources, right? So if we go ahead and use it on, say, gravel, right? If I can hunt it down here in JEI, you'd uh, go ahead and hunt that down. There you go. So if you bulk wash gravel and uh, you do that thing, right? It takes a couple seconds. You put in the water stream. You get all this jazz. So we get our diamonds and all that, which is really good. Looks like you have two rolls of diamonds there, which seems a little odd. Then sand. There's another table for that as well, I believe. So you go ahead and hunt down sand here. Go. I uh, had it there a second ago. You have this loop, so it'll be our first gold, and did some copper, some clay, some nickel, and some other stuff there. Then there's another loot list, I guess, for dust as well, right? So we get our redstone. Looks like stuff for AE2. If you want to go that route, we have refined storage in this pack too, so I guess that's uh really optional, whichever one you want to go with, right? But I want to go ahead and uh, start working on this, right? So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Could need a new hammer here, actually. Let's go ahead and see if we can hunt one down. Just need some stone here. Go ahead and uh, see if we have that. I think I did a stack of stone. I did a bunch of glass too. Just a bunch of stuff I do. We're going to end up needing. I know one thing I should do too actually. Is actually go ahead. Start smelting down. Probably some more of iron. Just so we have a bunch of iron going. And wait, let's go ahead and uh, see if we could actually grab one of those hammers here. Because I do like these very much. There you go. And we're going to put this in the wall over here. right? So we're going to have a setup that will do all three of them. In a nice little kind of compact area. right? So that's kind of the idea. We're going to use another water reel here, too, because uh, that'll probably be our best bet. But uh, let's go ahead and just uh, hammer this out a little bit, just so we have a little space here. Just so we can start planning things out a little bit. Get it all kind of organized, right? So there you go. So I guess uh, we should go ahead and make the fans first, actually, before I do anything. Let's go ahead and do that. Get that done. Uh, what do we need here for the fans? We're going to need some of those shafts and stuff, right? So let's grab them. Then on top of that, we'll need a bunch of actual, I guess, casings. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then we'll need a bunch of the edicite alloy. Probably need more of that too. So we'll grab you and you. Sweet. Let's go to uh, recipe on that real quick. And then see if we could actually make some of that stuff there. Then make ourselves a bunch of alloy here. Just so we have it. 
Then to make the actual casings for uh, crate there, to be able to do the crafting of the different kind of parts and bits and bobs from it, you just put down logs there. Then you just go ahead and strip them all, just like this. There's a way to kind of automate this later on, but uh, for right now, this is a nice, easy way to do it. Then we just right-click these on top, right? And then we'll get our actual andesite casings. So that'll be a nice little easy mechanic for us right there. And now we have a whole bunch of casings. Anyway, let's go ahead and here. See if we can hunt down the encased fans, right? They are right there. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and pin that. Actually, let's just pin that one. There you go. I like how it tells you what you need to. So it shows me I already have shafts, I already have casings, and then I just need propellers, right? So it's just nice how, how it kind of does that for you. Let's go ahead and grab you and you. We're going to grab three of these, so we'll need uh, 12, right? So let's go ahead and hunt down a hammer here. Go, get ourselves a good amount of plates. Grab like 12. Sweet. I think I need another five later on too, so I'm just going to pro proactively grab that, right? I think I have to mix her at one point, so I might as well go ahead and just uh, grab that all at once. Let's just make three of those, maybe. Let's go ahead and uh, pop you out. Now we've got our propellers, and then we should be able to go ahead and actually grab our fans, right? Awesome. We're also going to need a water wheel, so let's actually grab another water wheel here. I know some people do are going to ask why I'm not using the uh, crafting station from Tickers to use the connected inventory. There's actually an issue with it right now, so I'm kind of avoiding it. That's actually why I'm doing that. I guess I should have probably explained that earlier, but uh, kind of... I don't know, kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't be doing it, but at the same time, yeah, just, uh, yeah, you guys are probably wondering, why isn't he using connected uh, inventory for his crafting to make his life easier? But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely the reason why I'm not. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get these down here. We're going to have three of these set up. One for, one for blasting, one for haunting, which means we have to get some uh, soul sand here in a little bit. And then one will be for water, one's lava, right? So that'll be kind of the three different kind of, I guess uh, not liquids, but mechanics we'll be working with there. Need ourselves some slabs or something here too. So let's go ahead, do that, get ourselves some slabs. Then I guess we'll need a bucket of water. Then we'll need our plow as well. Just get that one in place. I have a plow around here somewhere. Can't remember where I put it. Do I have a plow? I swear I have a plow. There you go, right there. Sweet, and uh, get everything set up the way we want. So these things are gonna be blowing air, right? And they're gonna push items and they're gonna push Say if it has lava here, it's going to push heat into it. It's actually going to smelt the items, right? So that's kind of how that works. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, fire plow here. There you go. And uh, that'll handle that one. This one will be water. So this one will be just straight water. Again, this will be the one that does the washing. And this one, once we have a piece of soul sand, we'll end up having the soul sand down there. And we'll light it on fire. And uh, it'll actually do a thing called haunting, right? So that'll be what goes on there. I'll need this a little further back, I guess. One more row, kind of like this here. Go ahead and get you out of there as well. And then think about how I'm going to get this kind of cabled up, I guess. Probably have to go down, like one here. Let's do that. And probably right there. That actually probably work right there. Uh, I guess I have to go down one more around here. And that should be good. Do that. Sweet. Go ahead and hunt down our water wheel. And then work on the actual wiring this up here. Put that back there, I suppose. And then we'll just kind of cover it all up. Sweet. This says... Uh, we don't really need to see all this. We we'll need another bucket of water here too, so might as well go ahead and practically grab that. But uh, one of these should be able to power three of these. It doesn't really matter the rotational force. Like, it doesn't care. These things just work at a certain speed. Extra power just makes it so they uh, push the uh, items faster, right? So they work as fans, right? Because, well, they're fans. <laughs> go ahead and do that there. That's good there. That's good there. That's all covered up there. Then we'll just have to pull the power off that. So we'll have one shaft. Then we'll probably go ahead and do a couple chain drives because I just prefer chain drives. We could do uh, belts, but I have to get into uh, some kelp and stuff, and I don't want to do that. But anyway, let's get to chain drives. I much prefer these things anyway. I guess we just need some nuggets here. Oh, I guess I already had iron on me. This didn't matter. Go ahead and grab a couple recipes of that. Grab ourselves the chain drives. I guess we would need five of these if we do it this method. Although this method is a little more expensive than using a belt. It is uh, much more uh, server-friendly. Anyway... <laughs> Go ahead, uh, pull up you down. I'd like you not to do that turning stuff right now. Do you. Sweet. And there you go. They're all pushing. They're pushing the right way. You notice that the way I have the slabs kind of configured here, um, they can pull a blow underneath it, but it won't actually, like, move the liquids, let the liquids go through is kind of the idea. It's weird, too. When you're in the air channels, it really doesn't like you jumping up as well, which is a little odd. So what I'll probably do is put, like, slabs at the end or something just so I can grab the items real quick. And uh, if I get in there, then I don't have to worry about uh, taking damage and stuff as well, right? So we'll just do something like this here. You know, 
pop those down and that'll kind of be our setup right there. So this is effectively ready to go. So if I went ahead and grab, see here, some sand and actually let's do gravel first. Let's go ahead and grab gravel. Forget which, which is gonna get me what actually. So let's throw gravel in here and see what that does with the washing. So I wanted to go ahead and grab gravel, throw that in there. That'll start uh, doing the processing there. Actually, we could go ahead and show this one off too. This one is just a bulk smelter, right? So I throw a stack of cobble in there. That should slowly turn into a stack of stone. Shouldn't actually take that long either, actually. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much the process here. And the process will be using a lot moving forward to get a lot of resources, right? Not sure how long it actually takes. And before long, we'll be able to use something like a funnel with a filter on it and kind of have to push the items into a chest. Uh, we just need something that could do like the filtered extracts there, right? So it looks like that one's done, right? Let's go ahead and grab you. Let's see everything we got here. Uh, we got too much stuff. What do I have over? We already got some diamonds. We got some emeralds. Bunch of appetite. Bunch of lapis too, actually. Even some uh, the crystals from uh, Tiggers. I guess we got that as well. You notice our stack of stone is done there too. So yeah, we're just getting a lot of interesting stuff here, right? Let's go ahead and drop all that stuff off. I have some salmon here. Just tasty salmon to sit on me. <laughs> go ahead and grab you. Oh, I forgot this burned me too. So yeah, don't go into the fire stream. Catching fire, bad. So to get the soul sand we need, we need a mechanical mixer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these whisks here. Then we're gonna grab the mixer, just like that. Then I think we need a basin as well. So let's hunt down a basin right there. That looks good. And then in here, I should have that crank still. We'll just use that for right now. And probably one more cog as well. Just a cog to kind of get this going, right? There you go. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably just set this up, like I said, temporarily right here. Do that, go ahead and uh, pop you down. We literally just need one piece of soul sand, and after that, we could actually kind of produce uh, soul sand infinitely. It's kind of the idea of this, right? Because uh, the soul sand is going to be what gets us stuff like quartz, right? Let's go ahead and uh, pop that up there. Uh, probably not like that. That is completely wrong. Head uh, try that again. Sweet, like that. Pop that down there. Then look at the recipe here for the soul sand. It's it. No, it's not there. Where do I see that? Right in the mixer, right? We need a sand, some water, and a mob soul. And the mob souls, I think, are 80% drop from killing any mob. So you actually get them quite a bit. Need water. And then I need a single piece of sand right there. That looks good. Go ahead and get everything in the right place. And then you just throw this stuff in here, right? That, that here. I think this thing's pretty touchy with the water, too. You really need to target the top of it. So <laughs> I guess that's the thing. And then you just kind of right-click it. And then, yeah, we should get ourselves a piece of soul sand pretty quickly, right? There you go. I actually have it. Apparently only uses a little bit of the water too. So we still have 750 mill buckets in there. So I have a flint and steel around here because I had to light some torches at one point. Then we'd actually start our bulk hunting as well, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. Light that on fire. Notice we've got a new kind of look with the uh, particles there. If you touch this one too, you get the uh, darkness effect, but uh, it doesn't last very long. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and eat another cooked salmon slice. Got that from a random chest I got from Mob as well. Also got the two Endermen as well. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm going ahead and grabbing a sand now, right? So let's go ahead and hunt down some sand here. Uh, I can't remember where that's at. There you go. Should be able to make us a whole bunch of soul sand now. And that should kind of satisfy... I think we actually satisfied that quest. That quest actually should be quite happy right now, right? But I just want to make sure it's all working and doing exactly what it needs to. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely work on the collection too. So I'm not burning myself when I'm touching... <laughs> stuff like that or getting this darkness effect when I want to grab this stuff was this was just a quick and easy solution we need some brass before we could really deal with that uh, we'll probably deal with that in a little bit here you gonna do your thing you gonna give me the uh actual soul save that I need because this so going to process that real right away there you go and then yeah I can just go ahead and start washing that and that should get me quartz and stuff right I think that's what's gonna go on right Anyway, that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and process a bunch more stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this dust. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and grab all this gravel and stuff as well. See what I get out of it. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, probably work on auto, sand, dust, and gravel. Probably what we work on next. Then after that, we'll probably work on some other things as well, right? Like better collection of these items. So it gave us a whole bunch of iron nuggets here. So it is a way of getting some extra iron. We will still need this setup though to get the bulk of our iron, I think, at this point. But uh, that is fine. Gonna go ahead and uh, smelt down some of this as well. We need a bunch of gold here in a couple minutes. Go ahead and uh, do that there and pop you up there. That looks good. And do I need any more iron right now? I might actually. Uh, actually, no, I must have did all my iron. Yeah, I think I did pretty much all my iron. So hopefully we have enough for what I want to do here. 
Next thing I want to do is get into this uh, kind of custom mod made for the pack. It's called uh, FTB Stone Block Companion. And this has a hammer, right? And these hammers are going to be what we use to actually do our hammering in this pack, right? So that's kind of the idea there. Need a bunch of those uh, iron hammers, though. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can actually grab those things. Should be too bad. Go ahead and do that. Sweet. Get ourselves a bunch of those sticks there. These things probably aren't going to stack either, are they? So I better start dropping some stuff off because I can just see that already being an issue, right? Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can actually grab these hammers here. I think I counted I need like 10 of these too. So yeah, 10 of these hammers. So that'll be uh, yeah quite a bit, right? So it's going to take a fair amount of resources to set up everything. 8, 9, and 10. So we got all our hammers here. And what else do we need here? Just the gold and then glass. And I think I did a stack of glass, right? So we're good in that regards. Go ahead and drop that off. And then, yeah, see if we can actually start clearing up our inventory a little bit. Here we go. Going to have to craft these all up individually, mind you. But uh, this will be kind of the start we go with. And then we'll need a bunch of drawers as well. So maybe I'll go ahead and uh, actually make us a bunch of drawers as well. We'll just need the uh, one by ones at this point, I think, right? And uh, that should be more than enough. Almost done making all the items that we actually need here. I'm actually short uh, one piece of redstone, but uh, we'll get that as we're working on the uh, resources here. It shouldn't matter too much. Needed uh, four of the cobble gin, so I'm just grabbing the last one right there. We had nine of the auto hammers, and then we have some oak drawers here. So we're actually pretty much ready to go in that regards. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of these uh, little drippers for right now. Probably don't need them. Let's go ahead and uh, find a new home for them later on. And we're going to put it in this wall here. So we're just going to dig this out, I guess. Let's do... Uh, how do I want to do this? Like that. There we go. Sweet. That'll be a nice little start here. Kind of get that out of the way. And, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, sort this out. So the way these work, I can't remember, actually. There's a side where they input on. It might be this side here where they auto-pull. And this part, I think they push out automatically. So I think what we'll end up having is kind of like drawers on this side here, right? So this will be, I guess, four tall man. So let's go ahead and get those up there, right? And then they have to go through four steps, I guess, to get to all the resources. So the first cobble gen will probably be hidden in the wall right here, just because of the spacing. Then I think all I have to do is this here, actually. Just kind of put them down. And I think it'll go down the entire chain. And that one should make me dust. And if so, we are actually already ready to go. And it's actually just that simple. Yeah, it's doing the thing. It's already on dirt. This one should go to, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, there's sand, and then there's dust, right? Should be dust in there. Yeah, look at that. Super simple, right? Super, super simple. They actually kept this super easy in this pack. Super nice. And there's upgraded versions of these as well. So later on, we'll be able to get to uh, faster ones. So that is not too bad at all. And I think I even saw they could do compressed blocks as well. So yeah, you'd be able to do uh, compressed blocks with them as well, right? Yeah, right there. Three times compressed gravel, just like that. So be able to uh, really ramp these up if you wanted to. And let's go like that there. And then this one here. I'll have to grab some of the dust here in a second to get us one more piece of redstone. But something like that and that. Then we'd end up with one up there. And that should be all of it, actually. If this is that simple. Like, that's our initial kind of, I guess, uh, breaking down of materials. It's super, super simple. Super easy, but really cool at the same time. Hopefully this gives me one more redstone so I can actually... Uh, Kind of polish this off here. Kind of get it all finished up. Then maybe we'll start looking at brass. Maybe that's the next thing we do. Because uh, brass would be pretty awesome to get into. Because we'd be able to start filtering this setup over here. Make it a little cleaner. And uh, yeah, just awesome. We're probably going to have another one of these too, I guess, at some point. One of these setups here. So this setup right here probably be used two times. Because we're going to need gravel for washing. Then we're going to need uh, probably another one over here. To get us uh, more iron, right? So I'll have another one piping automatically into that as well. Uh, cow, don't come in here. It isn't where you belong. Oh, we got our last redstone here. Sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can actually grab ourselves the last hammer here. Cool. And uh, if so, we are already done this part of it, right? So that's actually super simple. Look at that. Amazing. Just super simple, right? His, uh, I don't think there's ever been a pack where gravel, dirt, sand, and dust have been done this easy. Like, this is pretty cool. I actually really like this little mod here. Uh, I guess this block from FTB Stone Block Companion just makes everything super simple. That is actually really cool. Yeah, we are making the progress for sure. That is uh, really rad. So I just went ahead and made us one of these here. This is a feral flare lantern. So I just have them on the floor there. Now that we have glowstone, we can make these really easy. But they light up everything in a 16 radius. So I can actually start getting rid of all of our torches and stuff. Uh, we don't really need the torch graveyard anymore. It'll light up the entire area. I have to be a little careful down there, that hall. Because that'll end up being a mob farm down there. 
but uh, yeah, it'll just light up everything. We don't have to worry about it, which is uh, really nice. Next thing I want to do, though, is uh, go ahead and grab ourselves uh, one of these here, a modular storage. Let's go ahead and grab you. And we'll use this as a makeshift uh, short-term, uh, I guess, inventory system, right? So something to just do a little bit of crafting with all of our items in a singular place without uh, having to kind of, you know, deal with moving things in and out of a chest, right? We're going to go with the uh, Tier 2 storage because it's actually really cheap as well. I guess we need ourselves a, another one of these here. Let's go ahead and grab you. Then we need a little bit more nuggets and uh the tier two is gonna make it so we could do uh 200 stacks of items inside of it so it's actually quite uh robust it actually is a pretty good size there we shouldn't have to worry about it too much it won't pull that that's a little weird anyway let's go ahead and grab you then we shouldn't actually need this table anymore so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get rid of that there you go go ahead and pop that puppy down then i think all you do is uh pop that right here there you go and oh you gotta lock it too right so lock it then i can start throwing things in here right so yeah, that'll be our kind of makeshift inventory system right now. And uh, I probably don't want to show it like that. Maybe something like that there. Then we should be able to search for stuff, right? So if I want redstone, I can just pull it up. And I think it actually could save some recipes as well. Although that's not really what I'm going for right now. I really just want to be able to uh, do our crafting a lot easier because it's been a bit a pain in the butt. I'm so used to having connected inventories and uh, we have not had one, right? So anyway, just a big quality life thing that uh, I want to get a hold of and uh, have in my life here, right? So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and grab us some of this here. We need uh, eat sandstone, right? So let's go ahead and grab you. Then I think I saw we need uh, eat clay uh, smelted up the bricks here. We're going to make ourselves a kiln because I think that's going to be the easiest way to get brass. So you look at brass here. There's a mixing recipe, but you have to do the whole heated thing. So I don't really want to bother with that. But we just do it this way, right? So we just take copper and zinc. So I guess I need to smelt down some copper as well. I don't think I've actually done any copper yet. So I should probably go ahead and start that process. That should make uh, getting the stuff we need, which uh, I just said what it was there, brass, uh, really easy to get, right? So let's actually grab a bunch more zinc here. There you go. Go ahead and uh, start smelting that down as well. There you go. Go ahead and get that done. Then we'll have brass in no time at all, right? So super, super simple. It's been a while since I used this, too, the uh, modular storage. I forgot how nice it was. It actually is really nice. Works quite well, actually, for crafting. Makes my life a lot easier, and uh, I'll be enjoying that uh, as we move forward. We get a lot of good resources out of this too, right? So I've already gotten, how many uh, diamonds did I get? I already got 17 diamonds, which is not too bad at all. Also this appetite, can we use that for power in this pack? Because if so, we are getting tons of it. It does not look like it. It's not an option, but I bet anything we do lapis because we're getting a ton of lapis here. So do we have the lapidaries in this? Because if so, yeah, we could actually use that for power. <laughs> Every one of those is 40,000 RF. So that's a possible option later on. Please get out of here, chicken. Kind of hoping we get a second chicken, too, because we need chickens to be able to get into chickens, right? So hopefully we do get some more of them pretty soon. Anyway, let's go to uh, Kiln here. Actually, it's weird how it pushes everything over at a straight little line here. It's a little weird. Did not going to lie. Move items not supported this recipe in this container. Wait, what? what? What do you mean not supported? Does this have the same issue as the other one? Maybe it does. Huh. Yeah, it is, it is letting me do the recipe. That's the same issue I think it's having with... Um, I think it's an RAI issue with the, the plus sign there. Like, it's not letting you shift the recipes over. Oh, I really wanted to use an inventory system. Why Why you no let me? Yeah, that's that's so bad, man. Come on, I, I, I can't wait until they fix that. <laughs> that's going to drive me crazy. Anyway, not their fault at all, just the issues. This is why these packs don't end up uh, released uh, right away, right? That's why the, uh, people like me have it, and you guys don't. So I guess I should just accept it and move on with my life, because uh, I, I should have been aware of this uh, when I started up this pack, that there was going to be issues, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, hit that kiln there. Don't know what block it is. It looks like it's that one there. Then all we should have to do to get this going here is, uh, what are we doing here? Go ahead and grab the copper, and then we should have some zinc here. And then I guess we need some coal or something, right? There you go. So I guess this is bulk storage for our items, but it's not really uh, automated crafting at this point because, yeah, can't really shift the items in this at all either. So uh, I guess it was wishful thinking. So it's not just a crafting station. It's that as well. It won't let me move the recipes, but this will be our first sink right here. We'll actually have our first sink just like that. It's not sink, sorry. First brass. Our first brass right there. Mm -hmm. With that, we need to get uh, some of these uh, actual funnels here. Oh, I didn't even see we need dry kelp. How are we doing kelp in this bag? Uh, where am I getting kelp from? So apparently I need to take a crook to some sand. Awesome. And then we can just uh, start winding this a little bit. 
don't need to want much. Just want to be able to kind of get it done a little quicker. Then I should be able to just uh, croak this, right? So I'm just go ahead and croak that. There we go. Just uh, all the stuff, right? I should get that sugar cane grown right away as well. And kelp. That should be enough kelp for right now, too. So let's go ahead and get this melted up. So we should just need a couple plates here. So let's go ahead and grab them. Then I saw we need some sandpaper. So let's go ahead and grab this right here. Go ahead and pop you up. Might as well just do that in my inventory, too. Let's go ahead and do that. And that. Get our sandpaper. That will be for rose quartz. Then we got to do this kind of configuration right here. Awesome. And then we get the actual rose quartz here. And we have to turn that into polished. And I think we just put this into our offhand, right? So like that. Then just uh, hold the right click. And that'll actually start getting us our polished rose quartz, which is fantastic. Then I think we take that and combine that with a plate, right? So that and this here, right? And then we'll get these electron tubes. So I'll handle that. Then what was the last part of it? To actually get these funnels here. Guess we just need kelp and then some brass, right? So there is our kelp. And uh, see if we could actually get these done. Do that. We drop you off. Drop you off. And drop you off. And there you go. Actually, you get uh, two per recipe, too. So that actually works out really well. Then I also want the filters. So the filter I need here. I don't know if I need the attribute filter. But maybe I'll just go ahead and make it. Oh, we need wool, too. I didn't even see that. Do I actually have any of this grown yet? This stuff seems like it's growing super, super slow. Yeah, I don't know why this stuff's growing so slowly. I put this down like an hour ago or something. Maybe the light levels have to be higher for this particular one. I have no idea why it's doing that. But anyway, not going to worry about it too much. As long as we can actually get what we need here. We just got 43. Like it was nothing either way. And uh, that'll handle our string needs for uh, for this point, right? Or at this point, I should say. Go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a bunch of string. Sweet. That'll be enough for three. Go ahead and do you. And I can't remember what the rest of the recipe was. Oh, just nuggets, right? I guess we just need the uh, brass that's in here. Go ahead and uh, pump you out. Get ourselves some nuggets. Looks good to me. And then pump you out. And then one on each side, right? One, two, three. And I can't remember how these work, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out really quick here. Oh, I need a couple chests or something as well. Oh, that's not going to work. Get you out of here. Sweet. And then, yeah, just chests. Do I have chests in here? I do. I have seven of them. Look at that. Just uh, see if we can work this out. So all I should have to do, realistically, we'll have just like limited inventories right now. I'll have to make bigger chests, mind you, but this should work for right now. So let's do that, that, that right there. Actually, why don't I just do it like this? Yeah, why, why don't I just do it like this that I have a little bigger buffer here? Because I'd like to not have to empty these constantly. I just want to be able to kind of throw the resources in and kind of forget about it for a little bit. Then just grab what I actually want at that moment. In time, I'll end up having it go to a drawer wall that actually make way more sense, right? But for right now, this is fine. I don't know how expensive these, like, crystal chests are, actually. I can't remember how expensive they are. But uh, maybe we'll switch to something like that because they actually have pretty good inventory there. Actually, how much are the alchemical chests in this one? I love those things. Oh, they made it so they take a diamond lattice. Okay, forget about that. Okay. Uh, what we'll do now is go ahead and grab a funnel. Should be able to pop one of these on each of these, right? Then I think we just need to tell them pretty much what not to pick up, right? I just don't remember how the filtering works on these, right? Oh, actually, you do it right here, too. Let's go ahead and uh, take that out of there. And this one, you add a reference. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. E what goes in this one? Sand? If I go ahead and pop that in there. Is placeable? No. How do you go to the uh, different attributes? Oh, you go like this. Can be haunted. I want the opposite. Do you invert them somehow? Add opposite. There we go. Cannot be haunted. So if I do that now, it shouldn't be able to pick up sand, basically. Let's go ahead and uh, throw that down there. Oh, I have a problem. I may have to add another space here. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I could just move those chests forward. I guess the main thing I'm trying to make sure... No, it's still got... I didn't put the filter in yet, did I? <laughs> go ahead and put that there. And go ahead and throw that in there. Yeah, once that gets converted, if that gets picked up, I really just need to set the filters for the other ones as well. But that should be pretty easy. I should be able to do uh, inverted, can't be washed on that one there. And then I guess that one would be just can't be smelted. That should all be. Just invert both. Uh, did it pick up the soul sand though? Oh, wait a sec. Why is it not picking that up? So I think I have these working the way I want now. So I actually went ahead and switched over to the just basic filters instead of the attribute filters. 
And this one's just on a deny list for sand. So that's the haunting one. Uh, this one here, again, deny list just on everything we'll be throwing in here, right? So just a deny list on the dust, sand, gravel, and the soul sand. So it's the easy way to do this one. And this one here is one of the attribute filters. I had to do this one a little different. This one, uh, selected attribute, so cannot be smelted. So if it cannot be smelted, it should be able to be automatically pulled in. Then I had to put in a second one in there for is tag for forged stone. Otherwise, it's going to keep the stone and wait till it turns into um, actual smooth stone, right? So the same issue I was having over here. Because this one here, the soul sand, when it gets uh, left in there, right? It first turns into soul sand. Then it wants to turn it into uh, the crate scoria, which is uh, kind of a block from the mud itself. So I was having the same issue over there. It just seemed easier to just use the basic filter on that one, right? But now if I throw, uh, I guess, stone in here. Do I have any stone? I'd like to have some stone here. It should uh, work just fine. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some of that. Go ahead and uh, make sure it's working here. I tested with iron a second ago too, and uh, it worked just fine. But as soon as this turns to stone now, it'll let it through the filter, and everything's good in the world, right? It goes, hey, you're stone, and uh, you should work. So you have an option there, I guess, with those attribute ones, right? The one I'm using is that right here. Um, it items pass if they have any of the selected attributes, right? Um, the other option, you can make it so it has to have all the attributes, or this one is the de deny list, right? So it does not have any of the selected attributes, right? And uh, the way I have it is on the uh, first one there. And it's working great. So it's just doing all the stuff, doing the things, and everything is filtered exactly how I want. So I should be able to chuck all this stuff in here now, and none of it should go through until it's actually converted. And uh, that's exactly what we want to have. Uh, wandering Traders. I thought I had them turned off in my world. The Wandering Traders right now, they know it's an issue. I think it's going to be fixed in the next one. When they spawn in, it actually creates like a 3x3 three three void inside of your... Um, world, right? And th th then you have a spot where mobs will spawn in. I thought I disabled them with command. There's a block we can, apparently, uh, can make there. I may have to go ahead and actually look at that. Because uh, that'll definitely be an issue. Move forward. We're going to have weird mob spawns in our walls and stuff, right? But it's definitely something that I think they already have fixed in the newer version. Uh, it's just not out for uh, for us yet, right? So, anyway, pretty cool. We got the setup. It's all filtered. And everything is uh, working just well. Oh, I'm going to burn. Just don't burn. So I went ahead and made one of these here. It is a no solicitor sign. That's going to make it so the wandering traders can't come around anymore. So just a really easy recipe, actually. Once you have yourself an emerald, it's not too bad. But yeah, it just wards off certain pesky intruders uh, within a reasonable area. So yeah, right click with wool to toggle silent mode. I'm not sure what silent mode is, but not going to worry about that. I think that's going to make it so they can't come around here. So that's all that matters to me. I did get myself a couple more cows too, actually. So I got two more. Not another chicken yet, though. I really want another chicken. Haven't seen any sheep or uh, pigs yet either. But anyway, I think we made really good progress today, right? So we dealt with all the washing. We got our, I guess, our materials being automatically ground down. I guess the last thing we'll need to do is have a way of uh, automatically dropping that over here some way. And uh, kind of doing it in a controlled manner where we could actually keep up with it, right? But... For now, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this one here. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.